<laughs> so I, I meant the answer to be false because it is the area underneath the curve and so the area underneath this curve say is one, two, three, four blocks. The area underneath this one is one, two, and if you look carefully you can put those two together and make one. So three blocks. Three blocks is not equal to four blocks, so the work energy transfer is certainly different from those two. How about the energy underneath this one? It's almost zero. Almost no work was done. If you want to know how that can be, all you have to do is think about what you have done and what you're doing with this, a bunch of equipment. For instance, let's say we start at A and we want at constant volume to raise the pressure. What do you do to that? If you want to raise the pressure of a gas without changing the volume, how do you do that? We talked about this. Somebody actually answered it really quickly before. Heat it up. Heat it up. Add heat. This is adding heat. I know I've done something to interact with it because the state is changing. How much work energy am I doing along a vertical curve where the volume isn't changing? Remember work is the area underneath the curve. How much area is there underneath a vertical line? Zero. No work is being done. You're adding heat right there to make that do that. How about when I go to the left? Well, I have to make the volume get smaller. Here, I'm making the volume get smaller at a really high pressure. If there's, the gas is at a high pressure and I want to drop the volume by a third, I mean by, by two thirds, drop it down to a, from three to one, drop it down to a third of its value at a high pressure, I have to transfer a lot of energy. That's going to be hard for me to do. Compare this one. What did I do to get from there down to there? Took heat out. I take heat out, cools down, pressure drops, now I'm down here. Now I go from three to one. Almost no pressure. How hard is it? How much energy do I have to have with almost no pressure in the gas to go from volume three to volume one? Really easy. Almost no work. Here it took a lot of work because the pressure was gigantic when I did it. Here in going from three to one it took almost no work. Because the pressure was really small and it's easy to <coughs> compress something that's almost no pressure. And then I add heat to bring it back up to there. So those are just different ways of getting from A to B. The work energy is different, I think, in each of them, although I'm not too sure about process four. I can't really remember how that one works. Process four is a weird one because first the volume goes down, so you added work energy. Then the volume goes up, so work energy came out. And then it goes down again, so you added more work energy. And you have to figure out each of those three and add them all together, and there's two plus signs and a minus sign, so the, it's a little more complicated. Probably not something I'll ever ask you to do, but I'm happy to ask you to think about it. Change in the internal energy is the same for each process. True or false? Start and state A. Three variables are fixed. End in state B. Three variables are fixed in state B. The variables are P and V and the number of particles. Those are the ones that are fixed in this picture at state A. They're a different set of variables at state B except the number of particles is the same. 